Are you guys asking away or typing away right now, Mr. Sneaky? I need advice on my account. Well, guess what? Look no further. I've actually got this overdone for you guys because I know how much you ask me on a daily basis. And I thought, you know what? We can turn this into a series where you guys ask me questions and I answer them back. And guess what? We're doing it through the Discord. So let's get into today's video and showcase how I'm going to help you guys get better in Call of Dragons. Hello guys, yes, yeah, smash a like, comment and subscribe for more daily videos with me, Mr. Sneaky, the one and only. And we're here today on the actual Discord server for once in my Discord, right? And if you want to join, all you gotta do guys, hit the link below or ask for the link in a comment and I'll post it for you guys. But if you join the Discord, what we've got now is a nice little Call of Dragons account review section. And the way you can see this is pretty simple. All you've got to do is join the Call of Dragons uh, Discord server link that I've got down below to my Mr. Sneaky, you, you know, YouTube community. And all you've got to do is scroll down to where you see the Call of Dragons guides and you'll notice there's a Call of Dragons section. From here, you'll see there's two, there's a new city layout as well as the account review. So this is basically what I have posted myself. What you want to do though is go to the account reviews and you'll see everyone obviously who's posted these reviews and if you have any question if you need any advice what you should be investing into what you should be doing post it here because what we're going to do is showcase here with damn donor and will basically quickly answering their questions for this video but i am I'm going to be answering them in obviously the thread but people like Dam Donut who's posted all of these images, I'm going to try and make maybe a weekly style series where you guys, I'm going to make you guys the video. You know what I'm saying? So let's work together, help each other out and get everyone on the same page, right? So the real question we've got here at the top of the bar though is from Will. He currently has, as you can see, a 511 Canara, soon to be a 5511 Braga, is it worth going the long range warfare for my archers? I'm an archer man, given the fact that I don't increase artifact skills, my best artifact, um, artifact is Shadow Blades. Should I go for long range warfare? Yes. Uh, if yes, what artifacts do I use? So obviously I'm going to reply to this afterwards, but what I would always recommend, honestly, if you really do have only this style of archer, personally, I wouldn't go for the long range warfare because I don't think your singular archer march is going to be strong enough with that long range warfare to benefit you. What I would do is if you've got more mages and you've gone for more of a mage, you know, route, I would go for the arcane torrent. It's a lot more safer, a lot more easier, and it's all obviously based on the mages and it allows you to pump out a bunch of damage, right? If you are though going to use long range warfare, I always recommend just using the best artifacts you have equipped. So that must mean any of your artifacts that is the highest skill level. So if it's level 5, you're going to get that 5% or 7.5% damage reduction taken and dealt. And then if you have obviously a um, attack based skill i would put that on a lot of the times because you do a ton of damage but if you really 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 want to get the benefit out of it because as you said artifacts uh do not benefit with the long talent range all you gotta do is put on a defense artifact i'm not gonna lie defense hp artifacts like viola's bow or even something like heart of Kamase for the defense you'd be surprised on how tanky you become and you can just sustain out there a lot longer than you would imagine that you would normally do right so that's what i would suggest for you obviously you don't have to follow my opinion but that this is the whole point of today's video right so this is kind of what we're going for right now damn donut asks uh which legendary should he focus on bertrand or valen any of the others i use mainly mage player but second troop type i use is most is in archers and the cool thing is like i said they've sent images so if you send images it's going to make our jobs a lot more easier when it comes to obviously discussing the the the, the heroes right so or the account so we've got Bertrand here on his account. He's got 5211 Bertrand. We've got 5131 Fear. 
Our archers are looking like a 5-2-1-1 Frega. We've got a 5-2-2-2 Valen. Our Goward's 5-3-1-1. And then our Nico is 5-1-2. Two. And you can see we've got a bunch of awakened heroes in the epic category two, right? Which is very, very cool and I would be very interested in, right? So what he's asking is, should I save gems for the next Argent Heroes or Artifact for Mages? I am free to play and I'm in um, ST, basically T1 um, server of a season, the brand new T1 season, right? Um, some people have asked as well if you want to show more of their tech, they can. I personally don't think I need to do that unless that's your question, you know what I mean? If you put a question in here and it's a tech-related question, I will answer that question for you guys. And that's what I'm kind of here showcasing in today's video, right? But what I would personally do if I was this guy and I was a mage player, I'm not going to lie, I would straight away go for like a pairing like my Bertrand here with actually my Atheist. This is actually going to be a lot stronger than the fear that we've got at 5131. Maybe if this was a 5 uh five five one hero or even five one five so you had all the stats that might be able to get away with and might be stronger than the atheist but i wouldn't use fear right now and what i'd be doing instead as you can probably see i'd be doing a bertrand with your atheist i'd be doing a valen with your wild deer which i'm most likely doing and like you are probably gonna guess I would try and actually go for more mage based heroes because I can see you do have the Frega and we do have Nico, but I see you don't have Kanara. And if you had Kanara personally, I'd have felt a bit more confident in archer heroes because you could have focused on something like Kanara with Frega and worked on those two heroes for the future with the newer generation of archers coming in the next upcoming seasons, right? So that's what I would suggest. I would suggest actually, you know what? You've got a good mage lineup right now. Stick to the mages. And you know what? If you want to go for some artifact for your mage account. And if you're wondering what artifacts you should be probably running for if you are a mage player, let's just go and switch over to obviously the main game here so you guys can see what we are seeing. You can have easily this magic bomb, right? This magic bomb is going to give you a beautiful amount of free damage and a weed to your march. But if you don't obviously want to use magic bomb and you want to use some of the legendaries, what you can straight away use, I'm not going to lie, if you've got um, Tear of Arbon, people are underestimating this thing because of the healing factor. I don't even really like it for the healing factor. I like the fact that I get 62% defense and a massive minus 5% damage taken reduction when I hit my level 5, which I have. And it just means I survive for so long compared to players that are using attack-based artifacts. And I do win a lot of my 1v1s because of it. So I, that is one thing you could do. You could obviously get your Phoenix Eye. These are obviously through the you know gold key system in the game. But if you're looking for Forge of Light artifacts, then what you could be doing is saving your Forge of Light keys all the time. And if you are saving them enough, what I would actually aim to get is this Mirage Orb. I think Mirage Orb is going to be your most versatile artifact for your account because you don't own Lilia. And I think the Infernal Flame is actually best suited for Lilia players. If you're not using Lilia and you don't own Lilia and you're free to play, there's no point going for this artifact. So you can definitely go for the Mirage Orb. And if you don't want to go for this and you want to try and find something earlier, people are really underestimating and sleeping on again the Breath of Yagantis. This thing is very scary and can do some dangerous tempo swings because you're destroying up to 10 enemy legions defense break. It's insane how long that defense break is. And you'll be surprised at how much faster your alliance members will melt through your team, um, your enemy teams, right? So that just showcases easily some of the Forge of Light artifacts that you could be going for. If you want to go for those ones, it's up to you. If not, I would definitely use just either a Phoenix Eye or Tier of Arbon. You know, these two are very good still until you get maybe a level 3 Mirage Orb or a level 2 Mirage Orb. 
that you could be using in conjunction with one of these guys right um so i hope that answers your question on and that's what i would do personally with your account if i was trying to figure out okay where which direction i'm going in i'd honestly go down this mage route it looks like you've got a very solid foundational line for your majors so i messed that up you know what i'm saying so stick to it push through it and that's pretty much it so if you guys want me to cover your account this could be anything to do with artifacts again what artifacts should i go for with these heroes what heroes should i go for what pairings of heroes should i go for you know what tech should i push into and stuff like that any of those questions guys all you gotta do is pretty simple go to the discord as you've seen before here go to the account reviews right directly above me right here once you click on that post any of your images and your question for that account on that you know um what you want to know then obviously i will answer those questions and if you've got images like this as well who knows you guys might be a part of the next video in this series so i hope i've answered your question down the donut and obviously anyone else who has maybe similar heroes in his situation and obviously wants some advice maybe i've answered your questions too and that's the beautiful thing about this kind of community feedback series that i've kind of thought of to give back to you guys and it's all between me and you so if without you guys this won't work so thank you for watching i hope you've enjoyed it smash the like comment and subscribe and until then stay safe guys stay sticky peace out